All right, I've got my radio and I want to test it, but I don't have an attenuator. What can I do? Well, that's good. Um, you don't need an attenuator to do a lot of things with the, uh, with the tiny SA. Um, it came, comes with this cool little uh, telescoping antenna. So uh, if you put that on the, uh, onto the spectrum analyzer, you can pick up frequencies from the, from the air and your radio has a, an antenna on it, so it can output things. Uh, so we should be able to transmit with the uh, radio and look at the result on the spectrum analyzer. The other thing we can do is we can actually use the spectrum analyzer as a transmitter and use the radio as a receiver. So I'll show you both of those things. So let me change the camera. Um, all, the, all of the setups are just going to be as you see it. There, there's no connection between the two. In fact, you need some distance, like six feet away from each other. You don't want to be right next to each other, otherwise you'll couple too much power into the spectrum analyzer. So be about six feet away. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's hook it up, take a look. All right, uh, we have our tiny SA and we've just turned it on. We have the little uh, antenna hooked up. So we're seeing the uh, FM bands here and a bunch of other things, which I don't think they're there. I think these are fictitious. These four things here are fictitious. Five things, one, two, three, four. They're evenly spaced and they're multiple. I don't know. They just don't seem like they're, they're real things. Um, anyway, so let's go ahead. We're going to be looking at a frequency center of 146.52 megahertz. That's our simplex frequency. And we're going to do a span of 80 kilohertz. And so nothing there. And so we're going to transmit. Um, and there we go. It's got a it's got to auto scale a bit, but we're getting a good uh, we're getting a good signal. All right, a bit slow on the sweep. Um, we can I'll speed, speed that. I'll show you how to speed that up a little later. Another thing we can do is you can look at the bandwidth, and um, I, there's no modulation on that on that signal. So what you can do is you can just press a key, uh, one of the keys on your on your uh, handy talkie or HT, and it'll do a tone, and uh, that tone then will give you modulation. All right. So I'm going to transmit with a tone. And there you go. And uh, you can save that and uh, measure its bandwidth and find out how many kilohertz of, uh, of modulation your transmitter has. Uh, so we've tested a couple things. We've tested that the uh, frequency is correct. Um, we can't test the power level because they're not connected directly, but you know, you can get a feel for it maybe later of how much power you think the antenna should be coupling. Um, and then by pressing a key, you get modulation and that fills in the display. Now, if you wanted to go a little bit faster, you can go to uh, display, uh, sweep settings, fast. Okay, so now we're sweeping fast. Now when I transmit, uh, it's pretty quick. And then I'm going to modulate, and there you go. Uh, so that's pretty good. So we can do a bunch of transmit functions just with a little aerial here, okay? Now the other thing we can do is that we can go to mode and we can go to low out and we're going to go to 146.52 megahertz and um, we're going to be uh, sending out minus 15 dBm and we're going to be doing a modulation of narrowband FM. So narrowband FM is what you want for your radio. If you don't transmit um, with modulation, you're not going to hear anything. In fact, let's do that. Uh, let's see. Let me see if we can get this in camera just for a second. Uh, okay. So I'm going to turn. I'm going to turn. I'm going to say no, nothing. I'm going to uh, turn it on. And there we go, we get, we get the green light. So it's receiving, but there's no audio coming out, right? And then when I hit it off, the, the light goes out. So you can, you can at least see that it's receiving something. But the cool thing is you're, it has some built-in modulation. So we'll go to modulation narrow FM. Now when we turn that on, it, it's actually receiving uh, enough signal 
even with this little antenna and only minus 15 dB on that we're getting a tone out. So that's pretty cool. So without any attenuators, without any cables, with nothing, with this little antenna, um, make sure you're a, a, a licensed ham radio operator that you can legally transmit on these frequencies. Um, and even uh, if the antenna is short enough and your power levels are low enough, you can still transmit some things, you know, check the rules and everything from the FCC. Uh, but uh, if you keep on the handbands and you're, and, and, uh, you're a ham radio operator, you're licensed, you can do all of this stuff.